Well, hello everybody. Um, today we are going to be making some easy soft garlic naan. So what we're going to need are, ooh, make sure this thing doesn't fall. There. We're going to need flour. We're going to need some instant yeast. We're going to need some yogurt alternative. I'm using a vegan plant-based so delicious alternative so that it remains vegan. It's what makes the non so soft. We got baking soda and sugar and then we're gonna have a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna mix that in with some lukewarm water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our flour and we're going to need two cups of it which is about 250 grams so 250 grams of flour are going in now I'm going to get the whisk down and we're going to give this a quick stir to break out all the lumps and to prepare for the upcoming ingredients that are going to be going in in just a minute. So for the rest of the ingredients currently on the counter, we're going to need this half teaspoon, a teaspoon, and a tablespoon. And it's going to start with the half teaspoon that it's requesting of the baking soda, which I'll go ahead and get that prepared. Put that down there. And then next up, it's going to want me to put in a teaspoon of sugar. From here, we're going to add a little bit of salt. And stir some more. Now this is where the best, the best part is going to come in. This is why it's a bread rather than a loaf cake. It's because we're going to be using some instant yeast. Which I'll go ahead and open up. Now you don't need to proof this in advance so we're gonna measure up to a teaspoon of instant yeast alright there we go Go ahead and put this in. One, two. All right. Now we're going to mix that in. So what I'm going to go do right now is I'm going to go get half a cup of lukewarm water real quickly. So go ahead and open up the yogurt alternative here should have not done that all the way but oh well so what we're going to do is i'm going to put into three teaspoons tablespoons of the yogurt alternative if i'm reading it correctly from you yes i am one Two, well, who would have known this whole container has three tablespoons, so. Now that I have our 
yogurt alternative in there. We're gonna put in our what our lukewarm water. And stir. Once we're done stirring, we're going to knead the dough. So it does dry up a bit at first, but eventually it will form a wad of dough. This is Make sure I get that flour incorporated before I start kneading it. See there's some that is yet to be incorporated so uh, go around here and just make sure that's all incorporated here. All right, now we get all the rest of this out, this excess out of here. Let's, let's knead the dough now. My cat is outside right now and just caught a insect. He always does this, you guys. So I'll go ahead and knead this up. I'm going to try and get this incorporated as much as possible. Alright, after kneading it for a while, this is what the wad should look like. So as soon as the wad forms, just knead the rest of the what's left into it. And this is the wad that you will get as a result. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, I'm going to see if I can get the rest of this kneaded in. So I can show you guys that it can be done. Ugh. All right, let's get this into a, a, a ball real quickly. This looks more like a brain. So I got it into a brain. It literally looks like a brain. So I'm gonna put that in here. Now that we're officially done with kneading it, what I'm gonna do is Get a towel to cover this with. Wipe the rim off first. As soon as you're done with wiping the rim, put the towel over it. Put the bowl off to the side for an hour and let it rise. So 14, 16, so that means 1515 we will be ready to cook the naan. All right everybody. It has now been an hour since we started raising the dough and the rising is done. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a hot pan over here. Go ahead and oil this up real quickly. And before I start the pan, and start frying up the naan, we're going to make our base 
that we're going to brush onto it. And then a little bit later I got to comb my cat. So. so, for the base, we're going to grab some olive oil. I'll just leave this out here just in case I need to replenish it later while I cook them. But for right now, I'm going to grab the spices we need for our filling. There. So, to this mixture, we're going to add some garlic. You can use cloves of garlic or you can use garlic powder. I just have garlic powder on hand, so I'm just going to sift in some garlic powder here. Perfect. From there, I'm just going to add some parsley. And now to add some fuego to it, we're going to be adding some cayenne pepper. And we'll need one hint of this. And now I'm going to start. stir up this, stir up our baste, and we're going to add this baste to the naans while they fry up. And of course I can just replenish this if I ever need to. So I'll move this over here, For in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and bring over the risen dough. It looks so soft. See, this is what this is why you let the dough rise after you knead it. It gets nice and soft and it makes it easier for you to make the naans themselves. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the cutting board. I'm just showing you guys a little life hack here. But if you don't have one on file, you can use just a regular dinner plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a dinner plate so, I can, so, so you can know that it can be done either way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find a rolling mill. And then I'm going to go get just a tiny bit of flour. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with the flour. What you're going to do is you're going to coat the rolling mill with the flour so that the naan doesn't stick to it. Spread this around. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our naan here, our dough, and we're going to roll this into a log. And what we're going to do is we're going to break it off into eight naans. So, one, two, three, four. So I broke this into four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unfold this, tear it in half. Now you have the wad for the individual nons themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this over and then we're going to flatten it. Let me move this out of the way so you can see the flattening of these nons. Just keep just keep rolling this out until it goes no doesn't go any farther out. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another dinner plate so I can put our finished rolled naans onto them. And then when I have them all rolled out, we're going to cook them. And here's a little life hack for you. You can actually turn these into flatitzas when you're finished with them. I'll show you that when we're all done with these naans. So here we go with the naans. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start heating up the pan. Now what's going to happen is that it's going to heat up for a couple minutes. And we're going to get the garlic oil ready. So what I'll do is I'll put the finished naans on the plates that I used to roll them out on. So nothing's on to waste. Alright, now that's hot enough, we're going to put the naan onto the pan. But before I do, let me get a spatula so I can flip them over with. Put that over here. Now then, one, two, three. Go ahead and put in our garlic oil and spread it around. And we're going to do this side for about a minute. Alright, so now I flip this over and during the next minute we're going to put on some more garlic oil on the other side. When this side gets done, I'm going to flip it over again so I can sear the other side together. So that way it will smell amazing. So let's... And this one, well, I'm just going to count to 30 here. You can always brush it before you fry it, but my personal preference, I just do it before that. Now as that thing rises, you see those air pockets, that means it's just about done. So in a couple more seconds, I'm just going to flip this over again just to make sure that it's all that good, and it is. So I'm just going to pop that onto the finished non plate, and we're going to repeat this for the remaining seven. Slum cool, serve and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to join the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in next week's video.